families cannot even come to to work. So we had to go out of business. Who can compensate us for all the losses? The owner of Tex-Mex off Las Vegas Boulevard says his business was forced to shut down with F1 closures, construction and traffic. He lost sewer service, power and customers, and he is far from the only one. Leaders say the event brought a massive boost for tourism and the economy, but from lost hours to lost jobs, anyone impacted by Formula One construction and traffic got to have their say. And Clark County released their report for the inaugural race. What worked, what needs to change, and to avoid a repeat of the traffic problems we saw last year, elected leaders want F1 to come up with a plan sooner. Cocktail service at Harris, traveling in the chaos of the traffic was not worth the money. Work at the uh, Paris hotels, work was so slow that my co-workers were sent home. I went from having 12 co-workers to just four of us. There's four of us there for a 24-hour store. The plea from strip workers to local leaders, they don't want to go through this traffic nightmare again. A group of small businesses fight the return of the temporary Flamingo Bridge, which F1 says will be back. My family's livelihood, this is my future, and we are in fear. An hour and a half race, they destroy all of us. Transportation's got to be first. People need to know how to get to work. Why can't we have that information May 1st? To avoid a repeat of traffic troubles, county leaders demand Formula One produce a transportation plan by May 1st. Clark County officials released a study of the race successes and bumps. In the area of roads and public works, the report cites problems meeting deadlines, delays in dismantling the race course, and urges F1 to work with the county to keep cars moving on the strip if there's lane closures and strategize lane use. F1 released a statement. The county has provided helpful feedback and recommendations for a smoother implementation this year. We have already begun addressing those recommendations. This year's race preparations will be significantly streamlined, which will lead to far fewer traffic disruptions in a much shorter time frame. The destruction of our business alone, not to mention the other businesses surrounding that corner, something does need to be addressed. Some businesses announced plans to sue to prevent the return of the bridge and get compensation for their losses. And there's got to be some way to have those people be allowed to be compensated, some kind of structure. <laughs> I'm sorry, no clapping. The report also calls for changes to how the pedestrian bridges were managed. Stairs were blocked to prevent filming. The report says that caused problems for first responders. Some barriers, the report says, were installed last minute, and some people got trapped on escalators. Then they had to be closed. To read and listen to their whole report and the impact on other areas like the airport and water, head to this story on our homepage. Today's report also brought down the economic impact of the Las Vegas Grand Prix. It says the total boost was nearly $1.5 billion, and these are just some of the figures that fed into that. Visitors reportedly spent $501 million, with the average race fan spending 3.6 times as much as the typical visitor. $329 million was spent on event infrastructure, while Formula One spent nearly $88 million on public infrastructure. Local workers reportedly made $52 million over the course of a full year.